Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. As you can see, a bit of different views here for today. We are back in Forza Horizon 4 on the PC. We do have a different wheel cam on the opposite side as well as an overhead pedal cam. Make sure you guys follow me on social media. I'll find in the description box below. We're going to be checking out if my Assetto tunes work here in Horizon 4. So before we get fully started here, we're gonna go full send just on this map fields. S14.5! I forgot how different Horizon 4 is, but we will get the feel back into it. Full 900 degrees on our fan attack. So. And this is not tuned, but like I said, we're gonna see if my pro tunes for such ESDA work well here in Horizon 4 which involves we're gonna have to go to the car up and change some stuff around we are in the Lego expansion oh boy which will head to the actual track and see if we can get some slides on the track here and see if those tunes work so let's go back to the garage we're gonna want to go to the garage yes and we're gonna modify the tune on the car I actually can't remember if we can modify it outside of this so if you guys like this new camera style setup it's because I've moved my rig over a little bit to make some more space in the office for some other stuff going on so today we have a different camera setup above pedal cam and a sideways camera so now we're gonna go and customize the tune we're gonna see where we're at here so we are going to drop tire pressure down. Like I said, we're going to try to see if these tunes work here in, you know, Horizon 4, which that's a lot of camber. So we're dialing the camber back. Now what is weird is, not weird, the cars in Assetto we run with some positive camber. So we're going to try that, zero the toe out. And then we're going to leave the anti-roll bars. We're going to raise the car up a little bit. Do some minor tweaks there. Leave our downforce. Brake bias. We're going to want to go to an 80-80 split. Which is something that I do on all my Assetto Corsa cars. So... And we're going to leave it completely locked. All right. We're going to see if this tune works with the positive camber in the rear, which is very different with the cars that have squat and stuff like that. And instead of Corsa, you need a little bit of that positive camber to help, you know, get some grip. Oh, we don't want to go all the way up there. We want to go up to the racetrack, which we're just going up. Oh. Okay, still trying to remember how to use <laughs> Horizon 4 here on the PC. Yep, we're going to fast travel there. So if you guys want to keep seeing 4 hours of Horizon 4 here on the channel, let me know down in the comment section down below. Definitely something with the new Horizon and everything coming out. It's a fun thing. i got to get rid of that uh, waypoint. I don't want her to be talking. There we go. Now we can go back. No more waypoint. We're gonna 180 this car. Turn around when it's wow. safe to do so. So we are in Matfield's S14.5, a car that I used to drive all the time in this game. So we're gonna head into the racetrack and see if we can get some drifting going on and see if this style tune does work. Live will begin soon. Good luck. Not too terrible, actually, off the rip. Oh, as I say that, we go way off course. We have to try and. So, I am kind of getting fought a little bit. With, I think it has to do with that positive chamber. But it could also be, you know, being on Horizon 
we'll feel much different, but we are actually still able to drift here in Horizon 4. Trying to do our best to get this completely set up. Definitely fun to be back here in Horizon and having a lot of fun. Oh, I totally missed that. I do think that that tuning is actually hurting us slightly. So we may have to... Oh, we can tune on the fly. Okay, that's good. We can tune on the fly. Rip for not remembering how to Forza. So let's just do five in the back. And see what we can do with that. I remember when these first cars first came out, I was not able to drive these cars at all. We're starting to slowly get the feel back. Definitely not as smooth on this as I was be in a set of Corsa with this car. Oh, I that we were we were definitely dead there. So I think we may switch over to the mainland and uh, hit up some city drifting here to see if we can get some Forza really fun lines. Good luck. We're definitely going to try our best. So we're going to switch over to the mainland and do go do some city drifting. So let's uh, teleport ourselves to the mainland. So we are in the city at night, cruising on the wrong side of the road. And we're going to be just doing some city drifting here, kind of getting our feet wet back here in Horizon 4. Like I said, if you guys want to keep seeing Forza Horizon 4 here on the channel, make sure you let me know down in the comment section down below. Tap that like button, subscribe if you are not a subscriber here to the channel. Almost like a little tail tap. Oh, don't go that way. Let's uh, change up views a little bit. I believe we have the drift head cam on. Yeah, we do. First person action for you guys. One big pet peeve of mine here in any of the forces is the lack of steering wheel movement when it comes to it rotating in any type of 900 degrees. Always the biggest pet peeve I've always, always had with Forza. I did not remember these roads. We are just making a total fool of ourselves here right now. But, you know, we'll take a minute to get back into this. I thought there was a road there. Back into how this game feels. We just smoked the tires going uphill, though. I don't know which way I'm going. It's so hard to remember these roads. You have arrived at your destination. I'm trying to find the gears. I am actually doing a horrible job here. Driving this car. We definitely need to get back into tuning some cars and drifting here in Horizon 4, bringing back some Forza content for you guys. This next five that we just tapped. Oh, let's change up cars to one of our other trip cars and see if maybe the car is just a little bit too untamable at the moment because we do have a lot of drift cars that we've had built let's go back to one of our favorite cars and see if we can't redeem ourselves for this episode and by redeem I ourselves i do mean let's bring out man we have so many old drift cars let's bring out a 240sx and see what we can do. Some street sliding in the 240 to end this episode off. Except make sure you guys follow me on social media. I'll have to follow the description box below.
Oh, much different. <laughs> With less power and less grip. But maybe we'll be able to throw down some better lines here in this 240. Like I said, getting our feet back wet here in Forza Horizon 4. Oh, the brakes are not that good. Oh, man. I do remember this car being one of my favorite cars to drive in this game, so I'm hoping that it's not me. A lot less grip than Matthew's car. But we're slowly getting it back. Trying to remember the roads, doing all the clutch kicks. Go around this beamer. There we go. Some illegal street drifting going on right now here in the downtown section. So, like I said, if you guys want to keep seeing this here on the channel, make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all the channel description box below. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to keep seeing this on the channel, because I will continue to bring back more Drift 21, Torque Drift, and of course the set of course with two competitions coming up. Here very shortly with US Drift round two and ESDA round six. We have a lot of prepping and car tuning and stuff like that here in the near future. I think we need to take this car up into the mountains and see what we can do on the mountain road with it. But that will be another episode getting back onto the mountains and some street cars. I do like this car better than Matthew's car right now. Oh, that W turned right on me. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Shibu Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. In 400 yards, you will arrive at your destination.